The Zhivitz land is the area embracing the Zhivitz basin with its contiguous mountains and Zhivitz in its heart. A town with 700 years tradition nestled at the junction of the Shoa and Kosarava rivers upon Lake Zivieki. The town has often been referred to as the capital of the Beskids. There are few versions as to the origin of the name of the town. One of them has it that in ancient times the inhabitants of this area would worship the goddess Jivya. Another assumes that the name originated from the verb Jivich, to feed, as the surrounding land has always been fertile and teeming with game. Supporters of yet another theory maintain that the name derives from the event of capturing a bison, Jivsum, alive, an activity practiced in the region of the Mencebrobe Jivyeki. Subsequently, the captured bison was offered to the Duke of Oshvienshin, who, to commemorate that event, granted the town a characteristic coat of arms. Jivitz is a very attractive town with respect to its historical, ethnographic, and architectural dimension. Among many of the interesting monuments, the one which deserves a particular mention is an 18th century wooden belfry, put up in place of the former one made of wood, which was devoured by the fire of the town in 1721. The neighboring market square resembles a medieval plan. In its eastern part there is a town hall with its magnificent meeting areas where local authorities assemble. Every day the town hall resounds with a call whose tune alludes to the culture of this region. The first part of the call, played by the trumpet, cherishes the traditions of the Zhivitz burghers, whereas the second part, played by the shepherd's wind instrument resembling an alphorn, symbolizes the folklore of the Zhivitz village. The old castle probably dating back to the first half of the 15th century, also bears witness to a long history of this town. Its erection is attributed either to the Dukes of Oswinchim or to Mikowa Strava, who bore the Kotvich's coat of arms. When the castle was under the rule of the Kamorowski family, it underwent some major restoration works. In 1569, thanks to the endeavors of Jan Spitko Kamorowski, the castle was transformed into a magnificent Renaissance residence, which was further extended in the 18th century by its successive owners, the Wilopolski family. In the year 1838, the Wilopolski's estate was acquired by the Habsburgs, who had the property redeveloped between 1859 and 1870. The castle's arcaded courtyard is regarded as one of the most beautiful courtyards in Poland, preceded only by Wawel Castle in Krakow and Baranów Zandomierski. Another landmark in the town is the Habsburg's Palace, also known as the New Castle, erected by the Habsburg family to be their residence at the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries. In the long past, in place of the present palace, there stood Baroque outbuildings to the Wilkopolski's castle. In 1945, after nationalization of the Archduke's domain, the palace became home to the complex of timber and forestry schools. In 1992, the town of Zhivitz played host to representatives of the Habsburgs family, Prince Karl Stefan and his daughter Christine, and his stepbrother, Father Joachim Badeni. By decision of the town and district authorities, the daughter of Karl Albrecht Habsburg, Maria Christine, was offered an apartment in the palace, which has been her permanent residence ever since 2003. Amongst Jivit's curiosities, there is also the Castle Park with its Chinese house, originating from the former Castle Garden and occupying the area of approximately 26 hectares. A stroll amidst old trees and across a wooden bridge would take a visitor to a forest clearing with a beautiful vista spreading below, or to a pergola and a rose garden in the shape of a semicircle and an original Chinese-style summer house with Starikon over the roof, armorial bearings of the Wilopolski family erected in the first half of the 18th century. 
In the town, there is also a con cathedral of Blessed Virgin Mary's birth, built in Gothic and Renaissance styles with outbuildings added later. There are two sepulchral chapels adjacent to the nave, from the north of the Komorovsky family, going back to the years 1596 through 1608, and from the south, the sepulchral chapel of the Habsburg family, erected in 1929. Well worth a mention is a polychromated low relief situated in the left section of the altar called Falling Asleep of the Mother of God, dating back to the year 1500. In the western part of the Conn Cathedral, there is a late Baroque organ gallery with organs built between 1713 and 1714. The Habsburgs Chapel houses a Rococo altar from the 18th century with a painting of Mother of God from Cestochova. Among sacred buildings, the structure also deserving a particular attention is St. Cross Church, built of stone in the Gothic style and then redeveloped during the Baroque period. Adjoining the church, there used to be a cemetery. However, till this day remains one penitential cross put up as a sign of atonement for committed crimes. The Zhivitz land embraces the area with its own idiosyncratic and unique folklore. Numerous monuments of sacred wooded architecture, as well as enchanting roadside shrines have survived until today. Due to its unique location, almost every single commune offers its visitors breathtaking cycling paths and scenic mountain trails winding amongst fabulous natural scenery. The forests here are a real paradise for mushroom pickers. Marvelous nature reserves are a great meeting place for their wild inhabitants, while mountain streams and tranquility of the surroundings will enthrall every tourist. 